Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am very excited for today's video because I'm going to go over the five best 55 and older communities here in St. John's, Florida. So if you or someone you know is considering retiring here in the great state of Florida, then you will want to stay tuned for this video to learn about all the options that St. John's, Florida has to offer. So the first stop on our list is the community of Stillwater. And this community is honestly one of a kind because it is a bundle golf course community. Now, what that means is whenever you purchase a home in here, you automatically become a member of the golf community and of the country club. So whenever you want to go play a round of golf, there are no greens fees you have to pay, you are a member. And this golf course was designed by Bobby Weed, and it is really unique in the fact that it is designed to where you could play three holes, six holes, 12, or a full 18, because all of those holes come back to the clubhouse. Besides the golf course, this community also offers a big swimming pool, an aquatic center, tennis courts, pickleball courts, and they are just breaking ground on the lodge, which is going to be a full-time restaurant and bar that's going to also have the fitness center, dance studios, game rooms, and more. This is a community built by Lennar, so everything you see in these models that I'm going to show you is pretty much what you're going to get. Some upgrades that may not come standard are just some accent walls like shiplap, board and batten, and maybe there's some upgraded lighting. But as far as the kitchens that you see, they're all updated to gourmet kitchens. The flooring throughout the home is standard. There's pavered driveways, pavered and screened in patios, all of which comes included in the prices of these homes. So I'm going to take you through a couple of their most popular floor plans here. There are still about two and a half phases that are left to sell in this community with a combination of 40 and 50 foot lots. And this community offers both villa options, which are pretty much duplexes, as well as smaller single family homes. with all of the things that this community has to offer, of course comes with HOA and CDB fees. So for Stillwater currently, because the main clubhouse called The Lodge has not yet been built, which it should be ready in just a little over a year. Right now, your monthly HOA is 300 a month, which includes the amenities that are currently here, your golf membership, as well as your yard maintenance. Now, once The Lodge is complete and built, that monthly HOA fee will go up to 500 a month for having access to all of those amenities that I've mentioned before. And the CDD fee is dependent upon what lot size you have in this community and it is paid with your tax bill every November through your escrow if you choose to finance. And that fee ranges from 2,200 up to 3,000 a year. And as I mentioned before, there are still two phases left of this community to be completely built out, which will total 549 home sites in this community. 
Alrighty, so I am here at our next stop in the community of Watersong at Rivertown. This community is absolutely beautiful and if you would like that laid back river lifestyle, then this would be the perfect community for you. Now, Watersong also has access to the amenities in Rivertown, which include two current clubhouses and they are building a third amenity center in Rivertown as well. One of them is right along the St. John's River, which beautiful views, there is a kayak launch, there is a full restaurant and bar, several pools, fitness centers, fields and playgrounds that you and your family are more than welcome to go to as well. And in the third amenity center that is supposed to be completed next summer, there is also going to be a lazy river. And Watersong has amazing amenities on its own. So it has a zero entry pool, has lawn chairs, fire pits, bocce courts, pickleball courts, and a ton of community events. I went in there and talked to some of the ladies in there and they gave me a calendar. And there is literally multiple events every single day that you can be a part of and that you can even throw yourselves if you wanna plan an event yourself. And they are currently constructing a, another part to the Water Song amenities that's going to include a state-of-the-art fitness center with locker rooms, a spa room, as well as they are building more pickleball courts that's expected to be completed in April of 2024. So Watersong is about 35% of the way built out and when it's all said and done, they're gonna have about 770 home sites in this part of the community. So this community is built by the builder Madame Homes, which is a builder that has a great reputation around here. They have several floor plans to choose from between villa options as well as single family homes. And they also currently do have 12 quick move-in homes that start from a price of $390,000. So the HOA fee for the villas in Watersong is 330 a month, and that does include your yard maintenance and exterior insurance on the home. And if you choose a single family home, then your monthly HOA is 130 a month, but that does not include any lawn maintenance or any exterior insurances. That is on you as the homeowner for the single family homes. You also have a small HOA fee to the greater community of Rivertown, which is about $50 a year. And then of course the CDD fee, which ranges from about 2,200 to 2,800, depending on the lot size that you purchase. One of the main differences about this community compared to the first one of Stillwater is with Madame Homes, you can pick some more options versus with Lennar. Lennar, you have a standard package where everything is included, but with Madame, you can kind of customize things a little bit more. So I'm actually standing in one of the quick move-in options and you can see some of the finishings that they have picked. This one is going to be ready in December of 2023, so it is not quite yet done yet, so you will see some things that are unfinished, but it will give you a good idea of the quality and finishes that you can choose with this builder. which is Reverie at Trailmark. So Reverie is Dreamfinders 55 and older communities that are throughout the state of Florida and I'm sure other states as well. And then similar to Watersong, 
This community is also a part of a greater community called Trailmark. So you also have access to all of Trailmark's amenities, which is a resort style clubhouse and pool and miles and miles of walking trails. In fact, it is called Trailmark for that very reason. There is a kayak launch and this community overall has a lot more nature and just feels a lot homier. Doesn't quite feel like you're in a coastal Florida neighborhood and honestly feels like you're in another state in the Southeast like Georgia or one of the Carolinas. The amenities in this neighborhood include a resort style pool and spa here, a state-of-the-art fitness center, a full catering kitchen, a lot of indoor and outdoor spaces that you can use for various activities. They have a bocce ball court, a beer garden, pickleball courts. In this neighborhood, they have 11 different single family floor plans to choose from that range from 1,500 all the way up to 3,000 square feet. So if you want to downsize or even upsize, there are plenty of options here available for you to choose from. Alrighty, so while I am touring some of these Reverie models, I also wanted to mention our next stop. Dreamfinders Reverie also is starting a community in Silverleaf, which is a bigger master planned community as well, located off of St. John's Parkway. However, there are not yet models built over there in Silverleaf, so I wanted to mention it. That is also one of the newer and best options for 55 and older communities here in the area. However, we will not physically be stopping there, but I did want to take a moment to talk about that community as well. So for Reverie at Silverleaf, I wanted to mention that it is going to have all of the same amenities here at the Trailmark location, including those resort style pools and spa, pickleball courts, walking trails, all of the things. But like I said, it's a part of the bigger community of Silverleaf. So I wanted to touch on that community as well. So this is going to be one of the biggest master plan communities here in St. John's, Florida. So if you want a more quaint and quiet neighborhood, this might not be the one for you. This master plan community is going to have over 10,000 homes when it gets all done. It will have a total of five clubhouses when it's all done. It currently has one built with, of course, resort style pools, all of the sporting fields, dog parks, playgrounds, but it also has a lot of mixed use and commercial space as well, including they are building the new Baptist Hospital right in Silverleaf. So in terms of proximity to healthcare, that will be one of the best options to have right around the corner. Now, Silverleaf is unique in the fact that even though it is going to be the biggest community here in St. John's, it does not have a CDD fee. So the developer who purchased all this land purchased it in cash. Therefore, for there is no bond to pay off. Now, of course, there is still an HOA fee for this community and as well for Reverie, which I will get that information for you if you're interested in this community, but that is one of the main pluses to Silverleaf. <music> Alrighty, we 
are here at our next stop, which is Summer Bay at Grand Oaks built by Pulte Homes. This community is located right between the St. Augustine Outlet Malls and the World Golf Village area. Now, Pulte Homes is probably one of the most custom builders that this area has to offer. So if you want to take a three bedroom floor plan and add on bedrooms, this builder more than likely can accommodate those needs and wants for you. They have 15 different floor plans to choose from, and this community, once it is all said and done, is going to have just over 300 homes, so it is going to be a more small and quaint community. They are just about halfway through building this community out, and they are moving on to phase two. So there are several inventory options, as well as lots that you could choose from to be on pond or preserve and build your home from the ground up. <laughs> Alrighty, this wraps up the video for the best 55 and older communities here in St. John's, Florida. I hope that you found this video super helpful and informative. And if you have any questions on these communities that we've gone over today, then please feel free to reach out to me. I will have my contact information here on the screen and I'll be happy to provide you some more insight and details on pricing, floor plans, and particular options that are available. And as always, thank you so much for watching and supporting these videos. It means the world to me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.